Mr. Ahmad had twice as many storybooks as magazines. After selling 92 storybooks and 16 magazines, the number of storybooks he had was half the number of magazines left. How many magazines were left in the end? This is a before-after question. How do I know I can identify the before statement, which is the first statement? He had twice as many storybooks as magazines. And where is the after statement? It is here. So there is some change to both items and the number of storybooks he had became half the number of magazines left. Okay, And usually we would draw two separate models and compare using that two models. But today we are going to combine the two models into one set and find relationship between the before and after to be able to find units. So we are somehow using the unitary method. Okay. It's okay if you do not know what's this unitary method. Later on, you will see what it means. Okay, so the previous video, I started with drawing after model. But today, I shall start with before because I'm going to show you that actually both works. So using the before model, this is my set of model. Mr. Ahmad had twice. So under storybooks, there's two units. And magazine, one unit. And how do I combine the after model inside? I have to do it with the help of the help of the statement. Okay, so he said that the number of storybooks he had was half. So assuming that he had sold this amount, and this portion becomes one unit. And since storybooks was half the number of magazines, magazine should have twice or two units. Okay. So it should be here. There are two units here. So once you have done this, stop to check. The number of storybooks he had was half. So check if it's true. Since half of two is one, so my model is drawn correctly. Okay, now the next part of the um, of the step is to add in the numbers. Since he stole 92, uh, sold 92 storybooks, 92 would be on top and the bottom one would be 16 magazines okay we are done here the next step is the most important because we are finding relationship between this one blue chunk versus the chunks on top okay let's observe the bottom chunk there are two units and 16 and I can say that this one whole chunk here is the same as the two blue chunks on top correct so my first step is to make it similar by drawing a line down and then this becomes two units and with that 16 inside. Can you see? Now they are similar. And since this, is, this entire blue chunk is one unit, the other blue chunk should also have the same, which is one unit here and one unit plus that 60. Now, do you agree with this model drawn? Since they are all similar, one unit, they should have the same. From here on, it's a bit easier because you're going to do the comparison. So observe this part of the model. 92 is equals to all of this here. And how can I find one unit? Is it possible? Okay, it is possible, but I have to remove the numbers first, which is 16. So if I were to cross this both 16, what is it left with? It'd be left with three units. So my first step is finding three units. I will take the total, which is 92, subtract the two 16 units that I have. Okay, so 92 minus 16 minus 16. And I will get 60. So 3 units is equal to 60. What is 1 unit equals to? 60 divided by 3. And we are so close to the final answer because they ask how many magazines were left in the end. So we zoom in straight to magazines. And you know... This 16 is what 
Mr. Ahmad had sold. So we are finding two units, correct? So the last step is just multiply. And that's it. That's my final answer. 40 magazines left. Can you see with the help of the model and the unitary method? Unitary method means this. So the most important step is finding one unit. As long as you have found one unit, you can apply it to find whatever they want. They can even ask you how many storybooks Mr. Ahmad had at first, or magazines had at first, or the total items that he had at first. So that's why I say unitary method is important. It will help you find a lot of the things that they require you to.